So as we told you yesterday, thousands of military veterans are facing a crippling financial burden. The Department of Defense is asking them to pay back bonuses they received 10 years ago for re-enlisting. They are being asked to do so because they were not actually eligible for the payouts. This comes after investigators uncovered rampant fraud and mismanagement by state guard officials trying to meet enlistment targets. So now joining us in studio live to talk about this is Congressman David Valadeo. Thank you for being here tonight. Thanks for having me. So first of all, what was your reaction when you initially heard this? Well, obviously disgusted. This is a sad situation to be in. And uh, I think that uh, I, what a lot of us are doing now, sending letters to the Department of Defense and making sure that they stop this from going forward, is uh, the first reaction, the first uh, action that we've taken specifically uh, and then in the Department of Defense bill, uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, as it's commonly known, uh, President Obama had vetoed it earlier this year, but now we're in conference with a better negotiated version, which does have a fix for this. What, what is at the heart of this? I understand that there was some wrongdoing and someone was convicted yeah. of something, and all these... Uh, all these uh, National Guard troops are kind of the fallout of it. What's at the heart of it? Well, we're still trying to get to the, to the, to the bottom of it. And so it's really dangerous for me to get out ahead of, without, uh, ahead of anything that we can find out. I and mean, obviously we need to know, we need to be briefed on exactly what started this whole thing. But it sounds like there were people trying to benefit, uh, trying to ra uh, ramp numbers up, one for the benefit of others and some for the benefit of themselves. And we want to make sure that people are punished. And I, I understand there are some in jail already, uh, but we want to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. And that's part of the, the fix as well and part of the solution that we're, we're going to have to work towards uh, once we get back in early November. Yeah, speaking of going to work, I know Co Congressman Kevin McCarthy has been working on this as well. Have you guys been in contact? And, yes. And what, what are you guys trying to do? Well, the letter that Kevin McCarthy led uh, with Chairman of, Home of uh, Jeff Miller, who is from Florida, he's also uh, the chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee, and then you've also got Mac Thornberry, and you've got the whole California delegation of Republicans have all signed on to a letter to the Department of, Vince, uh, Department of Defense saying, stop this until we get... Uh, a chance to address it when we get back in, uh, in session in early November, middle November. Uh, but again, us telling them to hold off, give us some time, and then with the National Defense Authorization Bill in conference, which, which that, what that means is uh, the House has passed a version, the Senate has passed a version, and now we've got to compromise those two in conference, get it to the President's desk. We do have a uh, path forward there. It is one of the more optimistic bills that we have to get done, and so this should address the situation. Uh, it doesn't sound like it would be a very hotly debated issue. It seems to have support on both sides, right? It does, and it seems to have support so far. But once you get into the dollars, and that's where we get into a lot of fights, because part of the, uh, the NDAA fight was the fact that Republicans were trying to increase funding to the defense, and the president was saying, no, I don't want you to increase it. And he wants us to keep to the sequestr uh, sequestration levels. And that's a problem for those of us who believe in the military and want to support the military and make sure they have the tools. And so adding, right now it's $37 million at the California level, but once you start including the rest of the country, uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see this be a three, four hundred, maybe even a half a billion dollar well, issue. What was the, what was the original uh, bill that went to the president? Uh, attached to a larger piece of legislation? No. It had, uh, obviously the president is very strong on the Gitmo provisions, bringing terrorists out, closing down Gitmo, and Republicans want to keep that open and make sure the terrorists stay locked up in Gitmo. And so that was one of the issues. And then the fact that we had used uh, a vehicle called OCO, Overseas Contingency Operations uh, Mechanism, to put more money into defense to make sure uh, we can get as much money to the, to our soldiers to make sure that we're able to give them that raise, make sure that they have the tools necessary to defend themselves. Uh, it was uh, a way for us to get some dollars in there, and that was part of the reason he did not sign that and then I he vetoed see. it. What would you like to tell the veterans out there who are facing, who are being told, hey, pay up, and who are a little, probably a little sweaty out there, well, concerned all, about it? By all means, reach out to us and make sure we know the stories uh, and make sure that uh, we're hearing about this so we can get involved and prevent it. But uh, we are there. We are uh, looking to get this resolved as quickly as possible. Very good. Congressman, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks for having me.